So once I did this experiment, I was giving a keynote speech about leadership and there were hundreds, maybe a few thousand people in the room. And I asked them to write in one statement or two what the definition of leadership was. And we ran this experiment. What did we discover? Not two people had the same definition of leadership. Can you imagine? Hundreds and maybe thousands of people in the room you couldn't find two similar definitions, two identical definitions of leadership. In my life, I've read probably hundreds and hundreds of books about leadership because thousands have been printed. It has been a very sexy and attractive subject over the past at least 25, maybe 30 years. And what I discovered is the same. Every book offers its own definition of leadership based on its own theory of leadership. <laughs> I have full respect to all of this, full respect, because it's coming from people's thinking. What I want to add to this is my own interpretation and understanding of what leadership is all about after spending at least 45 years of thinking about this, because I'm now in my you know, 50s and I've, leadership has always been my passion. I've always been absolutely fascinated by this. So I've spent much of my time seriously thinking about this several hours a day and reading about this what i have discovered is the following this is my definition of leadership leadership is about mobilizing people to achieve a good purpose let me elaborate more leadership is about mobilizing people or organizations so that they can either solve the problems that are keeping them stuck or create or capture opportunities that would make their life better. There are three components to this definition. The first component is that this is about people. Take out the word people, then we're not talking about leadership because what are we doing? So leadership is in essence about people, whether they are individuals, you know, groups in a family, you know, organizations, nations, the humankind, you name it. It's about people because all of this, you know, from China to your family, the basic component is the individual people. The second important word is mobilization because take out mobilization. Then how are we talking about leadership? So leadership is the art of mobilizing people. Now, when you mobilize people, you have to mobilize them towards something, right? It has, to be, it has to have an objective. It has to have a purpose. And in my view, my personal Michael Cooley view, this purpose has to be the following. It has to be either helping these people, mobilizing them so that they can solve the problems that are keeping them stuck, keeping them, you know, preventing them from keeping them going backward preventing them from optimizing their life, keep, uh, suffering from unnecessary pain, unnecessary damage. So either it's about mobilizing them to deal with these problems so that they can get over these problems and resume their life, continue to survive, remove danger from them, or it's about creating opportunities where they enhance the quality of their life. The quality of their life is made better by capturing an existing opportunity or by creating an exist, um, an, a new opportunity. So as you can see, these three components, mobilization of people for a purpose that would make life better, is, the, is these are the three main components that constitute what leadership is about. That's what I have concluded after 40, 45 years of thinking about this subject.